Hi guys, Juliana here and welcome to my channel again. So this video is actually a request. Um, maybe about a week ago I uploaded a set of three black and white uh, kind of old vintage Vogue type of uh, fashion photography and I was um, asked to upload a video to show how I do the set, the lightning set uh, behind it. Uh, so I decided to do that and also throw in two additional sets which I think are perfect for black and white photography. And uh, in this video I'll try some new formats, so I'm actually going to explain while I'm taking a shoot and I'm going to explain set I'm going to show to you, so um, if it's not perfect please bear with me. Uh, just a few additional things I want to mention before I start is number one, um, whenever I do black and white photography the styling and makeup is very important because this is type of photography that requires lots of contrast and such as you see uh, on me right now, I have a makeup that is kind of very contrast and very bright. Uh, those, this type of uh, makeup translates very well with black and white, apart from wherever you have very colorful one or a lot of blending and transition, um, those doesn't translate into black and white, like a high contrast uh, photography very well. And also what comes with styling, I like to choose very kind of graphic clean lines. I think those looks very, very well as well. And one more thing I want to say is, even though uh, whenever I know that I'm going to turn pictures black and white, I still shoot in color just because what if I will choose, you know, what if I will want to leave the picture in color, but if you shoot in black and white right away in camera, then you will not be able to do that, especially nowadays it's so easy to turn any picture black and white in Lightroom, Photoshop and any other editing software. Okay, so I guess that's all and let's start shooting. Okay, so for my first set, uh, you see there is just one flash and it has a, a little flag on it. I attach it, it's just a simple piece of the paper, you can use whatever. And the purpose of it is to cancel the whatever the light spill on the background, uh, it will cancel it. So the light will actually go directly on me only and it will not, so the flag is for cancelling the any spill to go on the background. I mean, you can always fix it in post-production, but if you can get it on camera, it's just way more easier. Just by attaching one simple uh, piece of paper to your flash, you will be able to uh, instantly get that completely black background. Okay, so the set is super simple. The light directed kind of acts me, but not from the direct standpoint. So if I will uh, set the light is not directly from me, it's kind of a little bit to my left. So um, that said, I'm going to start and let's start shooting. Also, I want to mention that I pose really graphic and I really want to make sure that there will be highlight on my hand so and the, my styling as well is all about contrast so I'm just my idea is to have kind of this oh, one hand is showing apart from my face and also just one more um, just the hand somewhere so I'm posing accordingly to create just kind of interesting vibe and um, kind of work together with the outfit that I chose And since I had kind of little battery issue, um, the batteries on my flash died and I thought that I have a spare one, charged one, 
and thumbs up for the charge batteries if you use the one disposable one please use chargeable one they're way better for environment and for your pocket as well so yes but turn out that i actually for some reason the battery that i have was not charged which is surprising because i charge my batteries right away always so i'm going to move to the lightning set number two which we will going to need one flush again and hopefully by the time i'm done with the set number two um battery will be charged so i'll be able to move on to actually set number three for which i'll be needing two lights so fingers crossed i'll have them charged by now Okay, so I made the second set ready and let me show it to you. So I'm going to use two of my B flat and one of them is white and then the other one is black. And you can see there is a flash. The idea is to have black and white and play on the contrast and I want that my shadow being cast on white. So the flash is actually positioned from that side and uh, to make sure that there is a cast shadow and I'm going to stand right at the edge between black and white and my camera is right there, right in front of me so let's see how it will turn out Okay, so now I'm ready for the set number three and this set requires two lights. So first is flash goes the opposite of the weight background and it will be stand, if you can see it, it will be stand right behind me. So I will going to sit on this chair and the flash will actually hide, uh, hide behind my head. And on the opposite side, there is my camera and my softbox. So I actually removed the diffusing material and just left one little one, one little one there. And I feel kind of it gives more brighter, like a somewhat beauty dish type of thing. Not exactly, but somewhat there. And it goes exactly opposite. Um, so what happening here is just, I'll just have one uh, light goes in front of my face, just goes directly, and the other goes uh, behind for lighting the background to make it white and i just want to say that almost impossible to make like white white super white background uh, in camera you always need to if you want it like a perfect white then you always need to uh, do it in post-production but this way will ensure that uh, you will have a very good start to do that so let's start shooting three lighting set that I use for black and white photography well not just for black and white but I find them suit uh, very well with black and white photography like a high contrast uh, lights and shadows 
and um, I want to mention that I want to make a video number two is how I actually edit to take from in-camera shot and what techniques I uh, use to create that kind of vintage black and white Vogue style shoots. So if you not subscribed yet, please do and hit that notification so you will be notified when that uh, video number two will come. And yes, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please thumbs up if you did and comment down below which set was your favorite and subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully see you next time. Bye!